Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sabrina Belechi and I'm broker owner of Remax Northlake here in Incline Village, Nevada at Lake Tahoe. What I do here is I pretty much cover all your questions on real estate, the local real estate market here at Lake Tahoe, having to do with buying and selling and keep you updated on our community. So today I'm gonna to tell you five things every seller should do prior to listing your home on the market. If you're looking for a clean your gutters, make your house pretty, this is not that list. But what I am gonna tell you is the truth about what you should do and think about before you go to list your home. Number one, work with a professional. It is very important that you choose and vet out a good real estate agent, one that will give you good advice, be straightforward with you, and who will not tell you what you wanna hear. You need someone to tell you the reality of today's market having to do with pricing and everything else. The other thing you wanna look for is an agent who is good at negotiating, <clears throat> good at negotiating, and an agent who will hire a professional photographer to really showcase your property. It's very important that real estate agents work with copyrights, professional photographers, and also are able to negotiate on your behalf. Number two, going back to pricing matters. The last thing you wanna do is be uneducated about the correct value of your home. At the end of the day, your home is only worth what a buyer is willing to pay. However, it's very important that you don't overprice your home so that your home stays in the market for longer than it should and becomes stale or underprice your home so that you leave money on the table. The other thing that happens is when you underprice your home, buyers will start thinking, well, what's wrong with it? Three, create a to-do list with your agent and collaborate. It is so important that you and your agent work hand in hand to figure out what needs to get done prior to listing your home, whether it's painting, fixing things up, you know, inventory lists, whatever it may be that will get your home ready to sell. Number four, know your BATNA. What's a BATNA? Most of you right now are saying, what in the Dodd-Frank is a BATNA? A BATNA is your base alternative to a negotiated agreement. Before you get into the emotions of selling your home, make a list of all the things that you're willing to give up and the items that are non-negotiable for you. Whether that's inventory, your bottom line on pricing, timing, whatever it may be, make sure that you figure that out prior to listing your home on the market. Because once you list, you'll have all these other emotions going on and you wanna be able to make an educated decision that is not based on emotion. Five, depersonalize your home. As much as you love your grandchildren and your kids and all their baby photos and every school picnic macaroni art project that you have around the house, it is very important that you depersonalize your home. Buyers will come through your home looking at the, the wall color and the flooring and the floor plan and they'll want to picture themselves there, not necessarily your, your family there. Go through your, all of your drawers, all of your cabinets, organize everything, get rid of grandma's chair that you've had for 55 years. Make sure that you are hanging those shelves that are sitting in the box still, hang the mirror, you know, unwrap the vase, do everything that you've wanted to do for your home prior to selling. A lot of times when you buy a home, you say, oh, well, someday I'm gonna take out this wall, someday I'll do this, someday I'll do that. Do it before you sell, because a buyer is gonna look at your home and realize that they wanna do the same things. They wanna take out the wall, or what do I do with this weird little corner? It's wasted space. So make sure that you figure those things out with your agent prior to listing your home. I hope these tips were great and helpful for you guys to get ready to sell your home this spring and summer. If you wanna learn more about the Lake Tahoe real estate market and our communities or buying and selling real estate in today's market, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel below. If you have a specific topic you'd like me to cover, comment below and let me know what you'd like to hear. I'm always open to your ideas. Have a good day.